my name is Cesar and this is the video number 11 in the naming series uh, in this series I'm developing a naming convention library in Python so you can manage your names programmatically in the previous video we did uh, let me yeah so we save and load we were able to save and load uh, rules and tokens to file to disk so if I run this test uh, Everything is passing. Um, so we have this save token and load token, and we save with rules. So that's great. Uh, today, uh, in this one, I would like to uh, save the entire session so we can save the entire configuration uh, somewhere to some repository and yeah, and load it back. So let's get started. Okay. Uh, Okay, so I'm going to attach the test here. So let's say test uh, save load session. Okay, so the first thing I need is to configure a little session. And I think I can copy that from here. So we don't need to do that. Cool. So let's say we configure a little uh, session. Then I'm going to save session to a repo. Uh, so that repo will be equal to temp uh, file module dir. So that give us a temporary directory that we can use so that's cool after that um, we can flash everything and i want to and dot load session same repo and now uh, everything should be back there right so self.assert true uh, so I want to ask if has token uh, description I think description so we have description we have a size and we have a, a type and then we have rule test one test two uh, we also self dot assert equal and we want to make sure that the active rule dot name it's equal to test one which is this one, right? So we also restore the active rule. And I think that's pretty much it. So if I run this, it will fail for sure. Uh, so let's implement that. Uh, okay, so some space here. Nice. So save session repo load session uh, repo cool so how to save this um, let's iterate on all the tokens so for name token in tokens dot iter items okay uh, yeah so we need to yeah we need to and uh sorry save we have this right token and it can pass a name and a file path so file path will be equal to os.path.join and this will be repo name uh, plus uh, an extension this will be dot token 
it looks all right let's do exactly the same for rules so token uh so let me replace that okay but uh there's a uh, one caveat here so if i go to the top you can see that rules have this active thing uh, so not all the items are actually rules so we need to check for that so uh, if not uh, is instance rule rule just continue otherwise save the thing to file that looks good so that's for uh, tokens and rule, but then we have the active session. So there would be like an extra configuration. So this is uh, tokens and rules, right? And then we have this extra stuff. So here I would like to do a config, create like a dictionary and we need the active uh, the active rule so set active rule would be equal to active dot name if active else none because maybe there's no there's nothing set right and active is equal it's equal to uh, active oh So that's the data and now we can just uh, save it so file path will be equal to os.path.join and we use repo and this may be naming.conf cool so then with uh, open file path in write mode as fb json dot uh, dump config fb and then maybe return to okay that looks good to me so let's uh, let's do the load session now Okay, so I have a repo and I have a bunch of files in that repo, so I need to go through all those files. So I know that I can do this through this uh, walk. And if I pass the repo there, but I never remember what this returns. So let me check the docs. And that's the thing, cool. So I can paste that there and say for that in that okay then for a file name in file names and then we need a file a construct the file path and we join the tier path with the file name so that's like the full path so now that we have that, I can say if uh, file name ends with uh, dot token, so it's a token file. All I have to do is uh, end dot load uh, token, and I pass the file path. Easy. Else if this is a rule load rule and once I have everything in there maybe I can do this so I get the conf the extra configuration and I say with uh, if uh, os dot path exist because maybe it doesn't exist so if that's the case let's load it so with open 
power path uh, in as fp uh, config it's equal to json dot load uh, fp and once i have that uh, for k and value in config dot iter items uh okay so here globals k b so that should set the oh and this not n that should set set active rule that should do it and then return true okay time's up so if i run this it passes fantastic so we can load and save the entire session so bef before closing this i would like to do an extra thing uh, so maybe i would take a few extra minutes sorry about that but let's yeah let's do this uh so this is great we can pass in a repo but maybe we want like a fallback so we have like a default repo so i would say like get repo try to be real quick so i will have a local local repo that would be equals to let me so os dot path dot expand user so that give me the the user folder And I'm going to use the Linux uh, standard, but you can use whatever you want. So I want to use that local folder uh, as a way to, as a place to store the configuration if you don't pass anything here. But maybe we also want to supply like a, okay, let's do that. Environment repo. get uh, let's say naming repo env and this will return the env repo or the local repo so this thing here let me go to the top okay this will be equal to naming oh, people so if you set that uh, environment variable uh, this will pick it pick the repository from there maybe so this should be equal to none now and the first thing i want to do is say repo is equal to repo or get repo Cool. And then the next thing would be if uh, os.path.exist repo, if it doesn't exist, we need to create that so os.make there. Yes. Cool. So that should do it. So this will be equal to none. So now if you don't pass any repo to load and save session, it will go to your environment variables. And if there's nothing there, it will go to your user folder. So I think that's, that's handy. Uh, cool. So that's pretty much it. Uh, this still passes. Nice. So that's that's pretty much it. Uh, in the next video, I guess we're going to create a, a small UI for this to configure stuff and keep moving forward. So yeah, I hope you like it and see you in the next video. Bye bye.